So if I get a job or money or something that I can go on Vinted or on eBay to buy the dream dolls that I really, really, really need, I know I'm gonna pay so much money on them, like for some Monster High collector dolls that I've never had the chance to get them back in the day. Hey guys, my name is Jacqueline Villa, welcome everyone back to my channel and today I bring to you the 10 most expensive dolls in my collection. I'm starting with the list with Miss Cloud Involved from the Latin America exclusive line. So this is like the budget dolls and I think it's really good and I paid like around $52 for this so it was a bit expensive. Comparing that, I got the other two for like 14 bucks. So yeah, but I was like back then like this, these are like Latin exclusive dolls. I was like sure that this is gonna not ever pop up in the Europe or everywhere just in Latin America and they did pop up in the Europe so yeah after all I paid a bit lot for this doll but I, I think it's worth it because out of the three like she's my number one favorite from that line and then the second is Frankie <laughs> so I haven't started editing the video or anything yet right now when I'm filming this part of the video but number nine place is actually I wanted to put the Rala Maze Blaze can I don't know I I don't know the name of that. So the can with the roller skating thing from Barbie the movie. Put him there because I don't know. I was feel like I paid a bit more for that doll, but honestly, I got her for a very good price here in my country. And also by that time, all of those serious two dolls were sold out. So yeah, I think it was kind of good thing. Maybe it was a bit expensive, but I, I needed him. <laughs> so number nine place is runway puppy. I wanted to say, yeah, fantastic fashion, but I just keep saying this runway nice. So I'm not saying fantastic fashion. This is runway for me, but yeah, I got her today. It was really hard to find for me. So yeah, I'm gonna keep her in box. I decided that because yeah, she's really hard to find. I have no idea why, like, I mean, <clears throat> I can understand by the dress and everything, but she's so freaking hard to find. Like I ordered her from a website and it was really good deal, but today I got the call that they don't have it, they can't find it and they can ship it for me. So I went to Muller today and also got some other stuff, which you can see on my TikTok. But yeah, I went to Muller and they had one. So I picked her up and I was like, yeah, you're coming home with me. I don't care, she was on the sale, but I just don't want to pay scalper prices for this beautiful doll. Come on. I mean, look at that. It was a bit expensive, like, I put here, because I haven't calculated that, like, around $58 maybe? Maybe a bit less, but yeah, around that. So, I think it was a bad deal, and like, this is the retail price for them. And Muller was the only place where I could get her, so... Yay! I think they have this in Smith Toys around the Europe, so I think if you want this, look around in Smith Toys. Because, yeah, I haven't been there, but I really, really want to go, so I don't know, maybe on the summer I want to go to Pandorf. Because, yeah, this is that's the shopping heaven. I love that place. And recently I discovered like they have Smith Toys. But, okay, that's alright for the talking, and let's go back to the video. Well, the last part of the video. Number eight is a two pack, which is Carlos and Evie. And yeah, I don't know why they were like around 58 bucks again. Like, I know this is a two pack, but comparing that, this is a Hasbro doll. So, you know, it's not about quality and fashion and everything. They're just making the dolls. But yeah, this is the one doll, so it's better than the first movie ones. And Evie's poly head is just getting worse and worse. It really had my time. Back then, when I was a kid, that customizing my dolls also maybe has her little cape that just fell down. So, <laughs> yeah. But they are completed for me, just I think because I customized them a tiny bit. Uh, I want to get a new one from them or a new emboss because I love to do some dance boxes. Number seven is Miss Fancy Laguna. I think the doll is so pretty. I paid $76 for this doll. Yeah. The international shipping there, it's really, really, really high. Like, almost, at least for my country, like, the price is almost, like, the shipping price is almost as the same, like, the doll. Because, like, this doll was, like, around 40 bucks, $49. So, 
yeah and i paid like the same amount of shipping so that's crazy but because this doll is an entertainment earth exclusive well i've seen her on amazon as well around the same price so i don't know how about that but yeah we also got the latin american dolls in the europe so i don't know what's going on but yeah i don't want to ever order i think from that website unless i'm not living in the us but i mean the shipping is so freaking high so i don't know but the doll is so pretty so i'm not saying it's worth it but i'm not saying it's not <laughs> i got the one with like loose hair so maybe i'm gonna unbox her i don't know but the box at the front at least is so pretty i don't know about the back because i don't like this like prototype or promo pictures about the doll at the back i need artworks i need that number six is vanda Two blooms, I think her last name is. I know, I mostly know their first names, especially like this one time scene character. So we only seen her in Honda, so yeah. But I got her for $73. Yeah, I don't know what's a good price for her. Back in the day, I don't know. It was it was really cheap. 13 ish dollars. Uh, I don't really remember, but they were so freaking cheap, <laughs> like comparing to today's price. But yeah, she's, I cut her like this, so she's only missing her diary, so I think it wasn't a bad deal. And also I got her from my friend, so she could buy um, a free de chic Rochelle playset. And also got a free de chic Rochelle, but I saw that one because she was missing a lot of pieces. And I was like, I'd rather get a new inbox from eBay <laughs> for scalper prices just have any accessories you know um, i'm really picky with my dolls like if they're missing so many accessories i'm not buying that like i rather have and pay more to have all of their accessories or missing one or two that i can find easily but yeah and that doll is really rare so it's really hard to find accessories for them well i don't think it was a bad deal but yeah maybe i could get her for a cheaper price i don't know because it's vandala <laughs> I think you me everywhere for really good cheap prices, but for Vandala, I don't think I ever seen her under this kind of price or yeah. So I think it was a good deal. So number five is Costume Ball Robin and I paid around, around, I don't really remember, but around like 80 bucks for this doll, which is I think a lot. Like... The retail price, I don't know how many in the US, but it's so much, well, expensive here in the Europe, or at least in my country, but yeah, over here is everything crazy price and everything, so it's, it's kind of hard and I hate living here, but it is what it is, so yeah. And I got this doll actually from one of my, well, we're not friends, but we just know each other from Master High groups on Facebook. And she was selling this doll, new in box. I just unboxed her because I, I was really annoyed by that. I cannot see the doll in those boxes. Like they got this like open up the door and <laughs> this kind of boxes. And it's really bothered me that I cannot see this beautiful doll and I cannot really display it with opening the box. So yeah, I rather open the doll, but she's so pretty. I love her. I think I put like a scalper price. For this doll and i don't have number four yet because it's the frank vote rochelle mine is on the way i'm super excited for her to finally arrive to my collection like i've been almost waiting for a year for that doll but i seen her box and it's so freaking awesome i love it i think i'm gonna keep her in the box and i just hope she's gonna come with the gloves because i love the gloves and she also got most of the parts that I was voting for, so yeah. And I paid the retail price for that doll, so 90 bucks plus the shipping. And the top three dolls in my collection so far that was the most expensive. The third one is Vampire Heart Draculaura. I was so lucky actually that Amazon haven't charged me for 100 bucks charged me with 90 bucks. So I think that was really cool because the shipping and the tax is a bit high for me But I just did it this doll! I love it! I love it so much! And I pre-ordered her when I could and I think she was like shipped around um, Last November or October. So number two is Miss 
Harmony Ghoul, I think that's her name is. I could not remove this, like, this thing over here. I think the reflection would be too much and I just couldn't remove it with the snails. I'm um, sorry guys, but yeah, I paid the same amount as for Electra Soto retail price and it was like around $164 with shipping. So I think that wasn't so bad, like... I don't want to get these dolls like for scalper price or anything, so I'd rather order them from Mata Creations before they sold out and I try out my best <laughs> to get these dolls, especially the fourth doll, which is my favorite. I don't know her name. Like the ghoul with the skulet in her head. That's so freaking awesome. But the tax in my country really was really really high. So I really hate I really hate that. But I just cannot do with anything with that. So yeah, I think overall it's worth it because I really really love like I love them so much more than I thought I would be from the stock pictures and everything So in real life they are here differently And the number one is Electra. So I paid the same price for her as Harmony but the taxes with her was much more and Yeah, because of the exchange rate and everything like it could be sound funny but Harmony was a bit cheaper than her so yeah that was interesting so like with 10 bucks maybe but she was cheaper than this one right now this is the most expensive doll that i own which is kind of crazy but i love her so much thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and don't forget to follow me on my tiktok and instagram at djakolivia and i'll see you guys in my next video i love you guys peace